So today, we have Deathstroke from Arrow taking on Deathstroke from Titans. Who wins? Let's find out. So, uh, I will be referring to these guys as the actors uh, that played them, just so there's no confusion. Okay, moving on. So, uh, Bennett's Deathstroke from Arrow has sniped a rifle. Uh, snapped a rifle in half, easily sent a soldier flying with a kick, and then threw another one a good distance, lifted Oliver by his leg and swung him over his head with just one hand, punched into a guy's chest, and he killed someone by squeezing their head with his bare hands. But Morales' death stroke from Titans easily broke out of restraints and then sent a guy flying kicked a dick through two church pews, and then just consistently overpowered him, uh, took Starfire down with just one hit, and was able to match strength with Donna Troy, and even at times overpower her. And she was Wonder Woman's daughter capable of fighting against Superboy. Uh, I'd say they're pretty close here, but I'd say Morales is at least slightly stronger, simply because he matched Donna Troy, and Bennett didn't fight anyone that strong. Uh, he probably put up a good fight with Donna, but we, he just didn't show that he could. So, moving on to durability. Well, Morales withstood a total of 15 hits from Dick's shock batons, just fine. Hits from Starfire, which could easily send people flying, just fine. Hits from Donna Chori, which could stagger Superboy and just kept on fighting after him. Uh, tanked one of Starfire's fire blasts and got right back up after another one of her fire blasts uh, sent him flying. His armor probably helped out a lot and he had a healing factor as well. And although we didn't see his healing factor in play, it's probably on par with his daughter's Rose who could heal from several broken bones in a matter of mo moments. But... Bennett literally tanked a punch to the face by a superhuman who could punch through concrete. He's ignored a bullet wound and gotten right back up after being kicked through a glass pane. He's withstood a point blank explosion and a blast from some sort of energy weapon. And he quickly recovered from being cut down to the bone and survived being stabbed in the eye by an arrow. Felicity said his muscles were almost as dense as concrete. And he also had a healing factor. His armor was also arrow and bulletproof as well. I'd say they're fairly even here. But we do know for a fact that Bennett's armor is bulletproof. And we don't know if uh, Morales' his armor is bulletproof or not. He was never shot at during the show. So, take that as you will. And now, speed. Bennett easily stopped Sarah's speed bullets, dodged a bullet at close range, and he easily deflected multiple multiple arrows with his sword uh, several times, even rapid fire ones from Arrow. Uh, but Morales dodged a throwing star from behind, caught Donna's lasso, and landed on his feet after Donna threw him a great distance. Um, they're probably equal here, but it is important to note that Bennett's feats are better so I'm gonna have to give him at least a slight edge in this department in speed so physically they are similar with Morales being a little stronger and Bennett being slightly tougher and faster tougher because of his better armor uh, so what about skill well, this is where it gets fun to me um, Morales always held the upper hand over Dick in 1v1s. Uh, he definitely outclassed Starfire and was able to beat her and Dick simultaneously. He easily slaughtered several Amazonians and then bested Donna Troy, who was an Amazonian warrior like her mom Wonder Woman. And he was able to hold his own against Dick and Rose simultaneously as well, even hold the upper hand over both of them for a good little bit. And with his marksmanship, he easily sniped a politician through his eye and casually cleared out an entire army base while eating an apple. He was just casually doing it. But Bennett easily killed several soldiers and bodyguards. He also bested Oliver in almost 
every one of their fights, or at least held the upper hand over him. And Oliver is definitely the best all-around fighter in the series. Uh, there was even a time Oliver claimed that he couldn't beat Slade. And with his marksmanship, he nailed a back-to-back -back headshot, uh, headshots while on a moving bus, and even accurately threw his sword into a guy's chest. It's very close here, uh, but I'd say Bennett has a slight edge, only because I'd say Oliver has a slight edge over Dick in terms of skill, only because he's had many more seasons to prove himself. But it is close. And in terms of Arsenal, they carry basically the same things, a wide variety of guns and knives, and a sword, as well as possibly some other things like grenades and flashbangs and whatnot. So, who wins? Well, at the end of the day, yeah, I'm going to have to go with Bennett. It'd be a great fight, but Morales literally died after just being stabbed through the chest with a sword. And I just don't think that would kill Bennett. I, I mean, this would imply that a bullet would significantly injure and potentially kill Morales, while Bennett straight up ignored a bullet wound. Not to mention, if a sword could pierce, if Rose's sword could pierce through Morales' armor, uh, Bennett's sword could definitely pierce through it as well, just as easily. And at the end of the day, yeah, I'm, I'm siding with Bennett eventually winning after a good fight. Bennett's Deathstroke wins. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Leave a comment of what you think and hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos and other great stuff. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.